Hello everybody, Claire here. Welcome back to the last of our um, paper bag pages in this Let's Make series. Um, not a lot to this page really. It's just got one photo mat in and a pocket made from one of the on the edge dies uh, with a little bit of decoration on the front. So let me take you through what you need to make this one. over there. Okay, the last of our paper bag pages, so we've just built up this one and turn it over, stick your paper down. I made the first major, major mistake and stuck the paper down upside down, cut my circle out here and then had to um, take the paper off and re-stick it down and then I've stuck that back in just to give a symmetrical look to the page. <laughs> anyway, let's zoom in a little bit and then I can take you through okay, what we're going to do. So, I've stuck down both of the edges now of the paper bag and we are going to add on this oop, decoration. So, from the papers that you've got left, if you're following me, cut out from the same paper that we've just used to stick down here, um, a piece of paper that is eight inches long by, I think it was three deep, but let me just measure it for you. One, two, yeah, three deep. So three inches deep. And then to get this cut edge, I've used the um, plaque and postage on the edge die. If you can see, let's turn it over that way which is this one, and I centred the paper up with the centre of the die and then cut it out and then just carried on cutting until I got to the edge of the 8 inches width that we want. So the first thing to do is to stick that down onto the book. So I have put some double sided tape across the bottom of the die and then I folded over just a quarter of an inch or just over a quarter of an inch at either end of the cutout and then I've just put double sided tape on the back of that. So let's just take those backing pieces off and we're going to stick that down whoops, onto the paper. across the bottom. Just leave these two edges unstuck for the minute. Now if you've got enough paper left, cut yourself one band of paper that goes all the way across from, if you want to follow what I did from this stripy paper with the um, cream wording on the back. Unfortunately I've run out of paper so what I've done is just cut two strips of a small piece that I had left and then I folded the ends under and they are actually going to slot under those cut edges or folded edges of the paper underneath. Like that. And let's see if I can get that one. I might have to stand up to do this because I can't see. Excuse the noise. It is the chair. Okay, have I got those? Just move that one down just a little bit. Sorry if this looks fiddly. It's much easier if you just cut one piece of paper that fits all the way across. But I wanted to use this stripe, so that's it. That's done. Right. And the reason I've cut pieces that short is because they're going to be hidden, or those edges are going to be hidden, by the pieces that we're going to put on next. I've cut circles out from my X Cuts circles die. Not the smallest circle, but um, the second smallest. So I've cut one of those, 
and backed that with chipboard and I'm just going to ink the edges of that. I like these, they're like buttons. And then I'm going to stick these two pieces down and then add the button on the top. So just I didn't do this as a belly band, I did actually stick it down, but what you could do is just um, stick in the centre and put two tags behind. But I wanted to keep it quite simple. So I've just um, stuck mine down completely. And then I'm going to stick that button over the top. So let's put some glue on there. Which way up? It doesn't matter because we won't see it. And try and get that lined up with the centre of the arch at the top of that cutout. Then using the smallest of the circles I cut a red circle out, scalloped circle, and I'm going to stick that one on. And then just to finish off I cut a button out of uh, using my sewing room die and I've covered it in paper and then threaded some seam binding through. I've already tied the bow because that would have taken me forever to do it on camera. So I'm just going to stick that one down as well. And that just finishes the embellishment off on the front of this page. So I thought that looked quite sweet. And then there's a photo mat that fits inside there. So the size for the photo mat is six and a half by four and a half. I cut that out of black cardstock and it fits very nicely in that pocket. And then on the front of that, using my square scallop cutters, I've used those all the way through this album. I've quite enjoyed using them and I like the look of the um, scalloped edge as it reminds me of stamps and obviously Christmas is a time when we all buy loads and loads of stamps. So I've cut this scallop out and I'm going to just stick that down in the centre of that photo mat. And then onto that I've cut one of the um, larger pictures out from the paper, inked the edges and I'm just going to stick that down just to finish off the look on the tag. I'll just move the glue to the edges. And then all I've got left to add to that was just um, a tab top, which I'm just going to stick on like that. Right, let me just turn it around so I can see what I'm doing. Slightly. Okay. And that just fits very nicely. On the back I've put, um, it is a photo mat, cut at six and a quarter by four and a quarter and the photo just fits into the slots that I've put on the edges or around the corners. And then that fits very neatly inside that pocket. So I hope you've enjoyed that page. That was the last of the paper bag pages. 
Now all that we've got left to do is the inside and outside of the cover. So I'll look forward to seeing or speaking to you shortly and taking you through how I finished the album off. Thanks for watching.